Hello good people, welcome back to another video. A few people in the comments have asked me how I made my video intro, so today I'm going to go through it. I used a website called placeit.net to create the intro. Placeit has thousands of customizable pre-made templates, so it's perfect for complete beginners like me. You can make YouTube intros quickly and easily. This is my intro that I made using Placeit. It's actually just a cut down version of a longer one and I used a longer one for the outro. What you see now is what I use for the outro. I like to have a shorter one second intro at the beginning so that I can get to the content quicker and then I used a longer version at the end so I can display my end cards and encourage people to like and subscribe to my videos. I'll show you where I got that from now. Firstly, you need to create an account and sign up. There are a handful of free templates you can use, but the best stuff is always available on a paid account. So let's get into it now. From the home page, click on videos in the top menu, then on intros in the sub menu. You'll find different categories on the left hand side with a drop down menu where you can filter these down further. They have over 500 intro templates to choose from. You can find free templates, by clicking the drop down menu here and sorting and selecting free. You can also sort by newest, best selling or mixed. The majority of the templates are paid ones. They have two options to pay. You can buy the templates individually and pay with a one-off payment or you can sign up to a monthly or yearly subscription and have unlimited downloads for every single asset on the website. I'm on the monthly subscription, so this way I can get access to the entire catalog. You're not tied into a year long contract unless you choose that option. It's around $15 a month, cancel any time, and you get unlimited logos, videos, mock-ups and designs. They also have over 2000 free music tracks, which is also handy. The cost of downloading individual videos is around $10 each and logos cost around $40 each. So if you want more than one video or just a logo, it's more cost effective to sign up for one month for only $15, download everything you need and then cancel. I have a sign up link in the description. If you sign up using my link, you'll get 15% off the listed price. So don't forget to utilize the extra discount only if you want to sign up. If you're anything like me, you need to download different intros to see which ones you like. You also might change your mind quite often. Once you've found a template you like, you can upload your logo here. You might also see different text fields here where you can add your slogan or website address. The templates will differ on the options available depending on the animations. So this one, for example, doesn't have a logo option, but it has four text fields. So you can put your company name or social media tags if you wish. You can of course change the fonts and colors of the text. You can also change the colors of the animations on the right hand side. There is also an audio track that comes with it. If you click the pencil icon, you can change the song. There are plenty of songs to choose from. Or if you don't want it, you can deselect it here. At the bottom, you have the option to add more slides. So if you have an intro, you can also add a middle and an outro. This is useful if you're making a product promotion video, for example, or if you want to add some extra animations to the middle of a video. Once you finish customizing it, you need to play it before you can download it. Once you press play, the video will start rendering. If you're happy with it, then just download and you're good to go. You can insert this video in your video editor of choice. I also created my new logo on this website. Since I paid for the monthly plan, I wanted to try out their logo maker to see what they had to offer. Once you click on logo in the top menu, you're taken to the logo maker. Just enter your brand name and industry and they'll present some options to you. As with any logo maker, these are automatically generated from a collection of pre-made icons and a selection of fonts. You can select two fonts at the top as well as a graphic and it will display some options to you. Once you click on a template, you can change the colors and fonts. 
If you want a transparent logo, click on the background and select this checkered box in the bottom right hand corner. You can then download a transparent PNG and add it to any color background you want later on. You can save a draft in the top right hand corner. This is useful if you need to make variations of the logo in different colors. For example, you may need a dark one or a light one depending on the background you're placing it on. It's always good to have different versions of the logo. You can then just download as normal and you'll get a high resolution PNG 4000 by 4000 pixels and that is suitable for commercial use. On the subject of licensing, you can continue to use the templates created on Placeit even after you have cancelled your membership. You just won't be able to create new designs. The licensing agreement can be found here with a summary of what you can and can't do. So there you go. This website offers quality intro animations at affordable prices. Let me know in the comments what websites or software you use to create your intros and logos or if you'd recommend any other tools. I know After Effects is a good piece of software for motion graphics and I'm trying to learn that at the moment. However, I'm not there yet so this will have to do for now. I may change my logo and intro at a future date. Don't forget if you want to sign up to place it, click my link in the description for 15% off. Otherwise feel free to like and subscribe. What I'll do now is leave you with 10 video intros that you can find on the website. Hopefully that can give you an idea of what you can create. So here goes.